everyone got another lock coming at you today this one is a bill bacardi special bill bacardi 28 it is a uh, falcon and he pinned this one on the uh, 21st of april and it works perfectly smooth but uh we kind of come to expect that from bill bacardi uh, especially because he's a well he's a locksmith and uh he does some seriously good work here guys so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here, find a pick, and I'm going to fit a 50 thousandths pry bar up in the top of this. And we're going to see if we can't get this guy picked open. I'm going to start out with a heavy tension just so I can get a feel for what's binding and when. i got to click out a 1 and 3. 4 is bound heavy. Five is bound pretty heavy as well. Okay, just feeling the back of the lock there. Okay, back to one. I'm gonna loosen up to a light tension now. Counter rotation on one and a click. Two is pretty well bound, but I got a light click off of it. Nothing on three, nothing on four, and a little click off of five. Okay, nothing else off of five. So back to checking out one. Nothing. Nothing on two. Little click from three, another little click from three. Nothing on four. And a tiny little click from five. So back to the front, a little click from one, mm, I'm getting, feeling a little bit of counter rotation on two, but I'm not really trusting it. Okay, got a couple clicks out of three, nothing on four. And nothing again on five. So I'm actually going to change up picks. Stay. Didn't want to stay up there. Yes, people, I talked to my lock picks. I don't think I'm completely crazy yet. But then again, I pick locks for a hobby, right? Okay, I got a click from one. Nothing on two. Few clicks from three, nothing on four, nothing on five. So back to the front, click from one, nothing on two, nothing on three, little tiny click from four, and nothing on five. Nothing on one, nothing on two, nothing on three. Okay, got a little click out of five and it put me into a very minute false set. Nothing on two. A little tiny, tiny click off of three. I mean, it was very minute. Nothing on four. Okay, a little click from five. A little click from one. I got my very small false setback. Two is bound. Three is bound. Four is a little bit loose, but that hook is having a little bit of difficulty reaching it. So, I'm going to switch to a taller hook. I'm having some difficulty trusting that and yeah I think what happened is I kind of hit a trap there with pin 4 okay so let's go back in here okay a little click, couple little clicks from 1 nothing on 2 
Okay, a little click off of three. That pick's not going to get under four. Very minute, <clears throat> very minute click off of five. Nothing on one, nothing on two, nothing on three. Still having some trouble with four. Let me go back to my first pick I was using. That one got under four with pretty good ease. Okay, a little click from four. A little click from five. Nothing on one. Tiny click from two. A little click from three. Nothing on four. And a very small click off of five. And it gave me a very another very small false set. Okay, so I've got nothing on one. That's just me sliding off of it, so. Nothing on one, nothing on two, nothing on three, nothing on four. And that pick is, is just a little bit too tall for five. Okay, I gotta click off a of five. Nothing on one. Okay, that was a little click out of three, I believe. Nothing on four. And a nice solid click out of five. But uh, I think I actually kind of screwed the pooch there a little bit. So uh, let's uh, change up a little bit again. Three. Nothing on four. Tiny little click from five. Little click from one. Nothing on two. Nothing on, th well, tiny click from three. Nothing on four. Tiny click from five. Another tiny click from five. Well, unless I'm getting some different feeling from it going in reverse. Nothing on one. Absolutely nothing on two. Nothing on three, but I want to grab a little bit deeper pick just to test three. Uh, let's see, I got a pile of picks here in front of me. Let's just pick one. Okay, there's one, two, counter rotation on three and a tiny click okay can't get underneath the four with that one so at this point I'm just looking for my counter rotation I'm not feeling any. Man, I hear the neighbor's dog just going ballistic. Nothing on two. It's firm. Nothing on three. But I am getting the slightest feel off of three. Nothing on four. Let's see here. My trouble is going to lie with pin five, I believe. Let's see if I can stick my hybrid diamond in here. Okay, I got counter rotation on five. Okay, and then a little click. And, and just testing it out. I think I lost my counter rotation. Okay, let's check the other pins. One, nothing on two, nothing on three.
nothing on four, so back to five. And just not feeling anything. Let me uh, test out again just a little bit with my swoop. Yeah, I'm pretty sure five needs to move. So I want to get back onto that with my uh, hybrid gem or hybrid diamond. Okay, I want to bring it back manually a little bit. There we go. I got something going on there. Nothing on one. Nothing on two. All right, I want to switch up again. I'm going to go with a gym. Nothing on one, nothing on two at all. I think I got a little counter rotation on three, and I think I just. Okay, I think that took care of that. Okay, I cannot get underneath a four at all. So back to my swoop. It's a little bit of a conundrum, everyone. I'm trying to figure out where this is. figure out a deeper pick that I can use here and still have some decent enough strength now oddly enough I'm gonna pull this out yeah that's kind of what I figured about one I think one set. So. Two is a no go. Three, I'm that might be a tiny bit of counter rotation on three. Let's uh, let's hedge our bets, guys. Guys, what do you think? Is it going to be three or five? Um, I want to go with three right now. So. So I want to manually roll back three a little bit. Ooh, that was scary.
Well, I don't think that was the correct answer. Um, because I completely lost everything. Okay, back to a little bit of a false set. And, um, yeah. I'll call that a little bit of a fail. See, yeah, I know the pick I want to use is up here somewhere, but I am just blind and I am not seeing it. No, there it is, finally. Okay, one, nothing on two. Three, nothing on four. You know what? I bet this has a six pin in it. I'm not really paying super close attention, but it makes sense to me. Ah, I got it open. Uh, that surprised me. I'm just feeling around for pins and clicking on stuff and going at it blind and you know sometimes you know luck hits you so I'm getting stuff picked up and moved out of the way here all right you guys can see that it is picked and I need a Phillips screwdriver. Yeah. Bill, I was about to give up on this lock and throw it in the naughty bucket. I mean, hell, I'm already at 18 minutes of just rambling around here. You did a fantastic job keeping me out of this sucker. Um, just in case, okay, just in case, I mean, I, I am going to shim this. The key pins are up and towards me. Yeah, this is a six pinner. I wasn't even paying attention, but uh, and I dropped the key pins on the desk right here in front of you. As if this video wasn't long enough, right? All right. Well, I almost guarantee that one went in two. And it looks like they're all different sizes, so. Let me uh, stick these back in here. Yep, that made sense for one. That makes sense for that one. This one is probably that one. Nope, that one's not that one. If I can keep it from rolling off the desk on me here. There we go. And last but not least, yeah. Yeah, that's got them all back in there in order. All right. So, six pinner, I wasn't paying attention about it, but uh, yeah, six pin rides on the tip of the key there. 
I normally don't fall for that trap very often, but I just wouldn't pick counting my pins. And uh, Bill's got some very nice homemade pins in here. Now that I got them all out of there, we'll dump them all back out. <clears throat> and let's look at the plug. Let's see if he's done any modifications here. It doesn't look like he's done any mods in here. It looks like it's all smooth. All right, so let's take a look at the top and what was giving me all of that clicking and crunching. I've got a spool in one with a copper spring. Come on, stay focused, camera. I know you can do it. I've got a very sharp spool in two. With a steel spring. I've got a double spool. And a steel spring. And let's go ahead and get the rest of these out from the back. I've got a double spool. got a factory spool and the t-pin all right so let's take a look at the rest of these springs if I can get them out okay there's the spring for six five and the last spring in here should be for four there it is all right I want to go ahead and look at the top here I don't see any mods in there. You should see picking up on some light if there were. All right, so this little Falcon BB28, tough little lock. Um, nice tricky pins. Kept me out for you know longer than I figured it should. <laughs> but uh, Bill Bacardi put some pretty nice pins in here and changed up our springs. So let's take a look at them. We got a very sharp spool in one. A see those serrations are so wide I would almost call them spools so maybe like four spools in one then I've got another spool here nice and deep one another one here then a very sharp one here and on the end I've got a double spool so on top another nice sharp spool and then another sharp spool I've got a double here and the bottom end of it was very sharp, then a very small T-pin, a factory spool, and a, another double spool here. Very cool stuff. Bill Bacardi, thank you very much, sir. Uh, your locks have been pretty fun, and your challenge locks are uh, pretty damn hard. <laughs> I like hard locks. So, everyone, please say thanks to Bill Bacardi for uh, sending me this lock to check out with you guys today. And please stay safe and don't do anything illegal.